the settings menu. Let's go ahead and press the function key F1 to get File Manager, F. to the uh, first item in our main menu. And I'm going to press the letter S to open the settings menu. Set time and date, T. The first thing I see is set time and date. Uh, I could certainly come in here by just pressing enter. Time zone, Chicago CST combo box. And I've got the combo box with all the different time zones. This is actually time format, 12 hours combo box. set um, to 12 hour format. If you like uh, your, your like military time, 24 hours combo box. you can actually do the, the 24 hour military time thing. 12 hours combo box time, 10, 18 a.m. at a it's combo box. 10, 18 a.m. Uh, Chicago time or where I'm from is Minneapolis, but it's the same time zone. Date format, long combo box. Uh, you've got the long format for the date. Short combo box. Short. Long combo box. Okay, I'm going to keep it on long. Date, Wednesday, June 9th, 2021, at a combo box. And we can actually uh, change this. It's an edit combo box, so we can either type in a new name or we can use our uh, navigation keys to adjust the date. So I'm going to press space with uh, dot six. Thursday, June 10th. 2021 at a combo box. And it jumps me head by. Wednesday, June 9th, 2021 Date. at a combo box. Uh, the uh, space with dot five and two are going to adjust. Wednesday, June 16th, 2021, 25 weeks at a combo week. box. Wednesday, June 9th, 2021, and 24 of course, weeks at a combo box. That's one and four with space is going to adjust. Friday, July 9th, 2021 at a combo. Wednesday, June 9th, 2021 at a combo by, box. By month. Synchronize with time server button. Synchronize with the time server. This is always a good thing to do. Confirm button. And I've, I've I have done that, so I'm going to Setting press complete. enter. Set time and date T. We're back in our settings menu, and I'm going to down arrow. Set up internet I. Where I see set up internet. Let's go ahead and press enter on wireless that. Wireless LAN two to list item. I see wireless LAN. LAN one to list item. Or LAN. So either wireless or an Ethernet connection. I'm going to select wireless here. Automatic combo box. Um, and I see that I was already in here. So I'm going to. LAN one to list item. I'm going to get out of there here. Wireless LAN two to list item. Access point. No item. Dog park. Encryption. WPA2. Sensitivity. Okay. Excellent. One five list. Item. So I see a list of all of the. Infinity. Encryption. RSNE. Networks in the area. Infinity with the. Encrypt. Dog house 5G. And there's our dog house 5G. Dog house 5G. I'm going to go up to dog park because. HP print 93 office jet 4006. HP print 93 office jet It's just on the other side of the wall from where I am right now. Dog park. Encryption. WPA2. Sensitivity. Excellent. And I see that I've got. Excellent, um, excellent um, key key. Network key. Network key. Excellent excellent reception here. Network key dialog. Network key. He wants the network key, so I'm just going to type in. Uh, I'm going to switch over to computer braille space G. Computer braille. Network it's just key. Edit box. Easier for me, and I'm going to type in. Asterisk. Aster asterisk 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 asterisk. Followed by enter. Connecting to dog park. Connected and I, to dog park. I Access felt point, dog park, dog the park, vibration because I've got WPA2, the audio. Sensitivity, excellent. Connected one three list item. Tones turned off, and now I'm connected to dog park encryption. The dog WPA2, park network. So I'm gonna press uh, connected one six list item. Space E. Wireless LAN two two list item. To return to my settings menu, and I'm going to press space down arrow or dot four. LAN one two list item. Oh, I'm still in. Uh, Wireless LAN two two uh, list item. I'm still in this. The uh, select a, a type of network. So actually, when I close it, I press in space with the letter Z. Set up internet I. And now we're back to the main menu, or rather the now we're back to the settings menu. Bluetooth manager B. There's our Bluetooth manager. This is where we can connect to things like um, audio headsets, uh, Bluetooth keyboards, and the like. Menu manager M. Here's our menu manager. This is really very cool because um, let's menu go ahead manager and open dialogue. that. Word processor 192 list item. This is where if we've got um, applications that we don't want to be bothered with, uh, for example, we know we we'll never use them, so why have them in the menu? Notepad 292 list item. Um, that would not be an example of one. All I have to go through this list is, is edit, 
all I have to do is go through this list and select the items that I do not want to have appear in the menus as I'm using my Braille Sense on a daily basis. Email 392 list item. Media player 492 list item. FM radio 592 list item. That's just saying I'm not mon- you know, much for FM radio, so I'm going to select that by pressing space on it. Selected FM radio. Daisy player 692 list. Address manager 79. Schedule manager 89. Database manager 9. Web browser 1092 list. Item. Google search 1190. Excel viewer 1290. Online Daisy 1392. Sense dictionary 149. Color reader 1590. Bookshare download 1692 okay. list. Item. And let's go in. Calculator 1792 list. Braille sense math 1892 list. Display time and date 1992. World clock 2092 list. Item. Let's see if I press the letter F. Oh, it, does, it is not actually navigating me by uh, first letter on here. Display compass heading 20, wake up alarm 22, no, stopwatch 2390, terminal for screen reader 24, no, display network status, display power, format, sleep timer 2892, uh, list format 2792, list. Format, I, that, that option is actually in the utilities menu. Let's say that I don't want to accidentally format something, so I'm going to... Selected format 2792, list. I, uh, press space on that now. Menu, me- file manager, F. Uh, I, I press enter to select my changes, and if I go down to media, for example. Media player, M. Daisy player, D. Where there used to be three things, um, the uh, media player, the FM radio, and the daisy player. Now there are only two because I elected to get rid of the FM Radio. File manager, F. I'll go into utilities. Calculator, C. Braille sense map. Display time. World clock, O. I see that. Display compass. Wake up alarm, A. If I press F. Stopwatch, W. Format is no longer in the utilities menu. So I've gotten rid of that as well. Um, so that's really handy to have. File manager, I'm going to go back to my settings. Set time and date, T. Set up at Bluetooth menu manager, M. Backup restore Braille Sense settings. Backup and restore Braille Sense settings. That's handy. Change device name D. You can change the device name. I don't recommend it because I think we still have a problem with if it doesn't start with um, the name that the device comes with, you'll have trouble connecting to things like your phone. Quick start guide Q. Here's a quick start guide if ever you want to revisit the quick start guide to kind of get a another kind of an overview of how to use the Braille Sense, you know, very, very basics and how to navigate and that sort of thing. You can always start the quick start guide. Um, Password protection, A. Password protection, if you're really sensitive about the the information that you have on your device, you can turn this feature on and unless the person knows the password, they will not have access to your information. Initialize Braille Sense options, C. Initialize Braille Sense options is basically going to take everything right back to um, factory uh, settings, basically the way it was when it came out of the box. Voice options, V. Voice options. Let's just go ahead and get into here. Voice type, Braille Sense Vocalizer 1 2 combo box. We've got uh, Vocalizer as one, one of the options here voice type android tts combo box the voice types are the vocalizer which are the, the voices that come uh by default i should say the voice the female voice that comes by default with the braille sense or we've got the stock android voice available to us and uh, whatever other voices that we can download from the play store braille sense vocalizer combo box. i'm going to select vocalizer and i'm going to tab Voice name, English Tom 1 3 list item. And in my case, I've got English Tom. Spanish Marisol 2 3 list item. Spanish Marisol. English Samantha 3 3 list and item. And Samantha. And Samantha is kind of the, the stock uh, option that you get when you first turn on your Braille Sense. Download button. All right, let's say we want to download some more voices. We won't do it because we don't want to spend the time. Um, Press enter there. Download voice. English Allison 157. Li- download voice. Okay, so. Oh, I, I didn't download mean. Download complete. I download voice. Allison 111. I didn't mean to download Allison, but I, I did it accidentally. Installation complete. And Install voice button. It's, it's already installed, so. Oh, well, what the heck. Uh, but. Close button. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, Down- download button. Close button. Close this. Install voice button. And. Voice name. English Samantha 3 4 list item. And you see now I have f- four voices, quite by accident. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and bail out of this uh, by pressing... Voice options, V. 
Okay. Initialize rail sent voice options. Yeah. V. I, just, I just press space with uh, E to, to close that dialog. Language profiles, L. And here's language profiles. So this is an interesting language thing. Language profiles, dialog. Profile, default profile, one one list item. I've only got one profile here, but let's say that I want to add a profile. I'll just tab. Add, enter a dialog button. So press uh, F3 or space with 4 5, and I'm just going to go ahead and press enter on add. Add dialog. Profile, edit box. And why don't I just call this, um, oh, Spanish. Comma. Oops, I forgot. Comma. I'm in computer braille, so I'm going to go, Uncontracted braille. go back to contracted Contracted braille. braille. Profile and just type in S. Spanish. P A N I S H. Okay, Tam. Language, English, United States, 848 list, Espanol, Espanol, Espanol. 948 list item. And. Braille code, US 123 list item. I can select my Braille code. UEB 223, Spanish 323 list item. Okay, and I'm going to press uh, tab again. View input grade, computer Braille 12 list item. I've got two choices for input. Uh, grade. Uncontracted Braille 2 to list item. And I'm going to select uncontracted Braille. Voice type. Braille sense vocalizer 1 to list item. Uh, what, what type of voice type? Voice name. English Samantha 3 4 list item. And here are my vo my four voices. Spanish Marisol 4 4 list item. I do have Spanish Marisol. Use secondary voice. Off 1 to list item. Uh, use secondary voice. Oh, oh. Go ahead and on two, two list turn item. that on. Secondary voice name, English, Samantha 3, 4, list item. Um, actually, let's not do that because I don't have a secondary voice, voice rate, installed. Five, five, 12 list a Spanish item. one anyway. So secondary, use secondary voice on 2, 2, list I'm item. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Off 1, 2, list item. Now tab. Voice rate, 5, 5, 12, list item. Voice pitch, 5, 5, 10, list item. Confirm button. And I'm going to confirm the change. Save complete. Profile, Spanish 2, 2, list item. Add, enter A, dot modify, enter M, dot delete, space D, confirm button. And I'm going to confirm. Filema Explorador de Ficheros, F. Okay, so I don't, um, I, I had college Spanish. Word processor, W. <laughs> and I, I, did, I never got very good at it, but. Block de notas, N. I see that my, my. Uh, my Braille table and my speech has now been switched Correo electrónico. over okay. to Spanish. I do know the hotkey for uh, switching languages and getting to the language profiles is F1 with the letter L. Selecciona perfil lingüístico cuadro de diálogo. Perfil default profile 1 o 2 elemento de lista. Okay, and I'm going to... Default profile 1 o 2 elemento de lista. Uh, enter on that. Explorator D File Manager F. And I'm back to the only language that I am still learning. <laughs> it's English. Let's go back into the settings. File Manager F. Set time and date T. And we'll go down Android to. Android System Settings. Android Braille Sense Global Options. Language Profiles. There's no. language profiles where we left off. I'm just navigating using my space with dot four or space with dot one. Braille Sense Global Options. The last o. two choices here we've got Braille Sense Global Options. We've been through Global Options in another section, but the hotkey to launch Global Options is space with the letter O. Android Backup Reset R. There's an Android Backup and Reset in case you want to uh, get your your braille sense in pristine like new out of the box condition or if you want to restore in a, a, some some other data from a previous backup android system settings e and there's android system settings android system settings that e. is the last item in the list under settings that's going to do it thank you so much for joining me if you'd like more information about this, you can always drop us a line. Send us email at either sales at hymns-inc.com or support at hymns-inc.com. You can reach us online at www.hymns-inc.com or call us on the phone at 512-837-2000. Option one gets you the technical support. Option two, sales. Thanks again.